Welcome back to our podcast, everyone. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of video translation and dubbing, a field that's evolving rapidly with advancements in technology. You might be wondering, what exactly does that mean? Well, let's unpack it together. Imagine you're watching a gripping foreign film, and suddenly you hear a voiceover that perfectly captures the emotion of the original characters. That's the magic of dubbing. But there's a lot more that goes into it than just slapping a new voice over a video. It's an art form. We're talking about capturing not just words, but also the essence of how a character feels. Every nuance, every laugh, every tear. So why is this becoming a hot topic? Well, with the rise of global content consumption, platforms like YouTube are constantly seeking ways to make their vast libraries accessible to audiences worldwide. And here's where the power of large language models, or LLMs, comes into play. Picture this. A user needs to translate and dub an entire video in just one click. It sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, doesn't it? But it's becoming a reality. Now let's break this down a bit. How do these tools create professional-grade translations? LLMs analyze the dialogue, the context, and even the cultural nuances of the content they're translating. They help ensure that humor remains funny, drama stays dramatic, and the overall message resonates, no matter the language. So it's not just about translating words, it's about translating feelings and intentions. That's pretty powerful, if you ask me. But we must also consider the challenges. Dubbing is an intense process. You can't just have a robot read lines. It needs to sound natural. Listeners can often tell when a voice doesn't match the on-screen action. It's crucial for dubbing artists to sync their voices with the mouth movements of the actors. How do you think they manage to keep emotions aligned while doing this? What kind of training do you think these voice actors undergo? Let's not forget the growing demand for localized content. Businesses are turning to these dubbing and translation services to reach new audiences. They want their content to feel as if it was originally created for that specific culture. That sounds like a win-win situation. Both creators and viewers benefit. Now, I'd love to know your thoughts. How much does the quality of dubbing affect your viewing experience? Have you watched a show where the dubbing was so poor that it ruined the entire thing for you? Before we wrap up, let's quickly summarize what we've explored. We've seen how LLM-powered tools are revolutionizing the video translation and dubbing industry, allowing creators to connect with global audiences more effectively. We also talked about the importance of emotion and context in translations and the challenges that come with making dubbing feel authentic. Thanks for joining us today. Keep exploring the intricacies of language and media, because as we've learned, the stories we share transcend borders. Until next time, Keep the conversation going.